Hey, this is King Kevin Dorable checking in. Thank you for listening um, about my new book, Seven Tax of Queens That Kings Desire, which is my second book, and my recent blog article, which there will be a series of blogs coming out um, forthcoming. Uh, my website, which you can find out more information, is um, 7 queens 7 kingscom or kevindorval.com, which is, you see the link here below, right? Now, the reason why I wrote this new article that I wrote pertaining to my book, Seven Queens, um, is, is entitled, The Value of Women, comma, Black Queens. Now, as we all been watching the news and the media, social media, and we see all the nude pictures of women, uh, especially black women. But, you know, you have Asian women, Caucasian women, Hispanic women doing the same thing, which I all quote um, in my new article, which has been going viral, by the way. So thank you for everyone who's been commenting, sharing, liking, um, retweeting uh, the post, and even on Instagram. Now, the reason why I I wanted to make sure that I shared this information was because it really bothered me about how many times I see you know young gorgeous looking sisters setting themselves short. I mean, women, you are so talented, and the only way you can know how talented you are or how talented you could and can become is by understanding the historical significance of women like Queen Aset, Queen um, Nefertari, Queen Nzinga, Princess Diana. You have a few Asian queens up there, um, Japan, China, um, some um, the women from uh, South America and Brazil. You know, there, so there was great women, and even the United States, there are great women all over in the Bible. You no, know, the Bible doesn't say this, but um, it does say a man uh, receives his blessing. Um, when a man finds his queen, when he finds a wife, he finds a good thing, a treasure. Today, with what we see going on, it, it's a little confusing, you know what I mean? Because you have some of the most intelligent women. I know some very intelligent women that are doctors and lawyers. And a lot of people don't even know they're doctors and lawyers. They want to know, unless they told you, taking these new pictures, taking these... Uh, gentlemen... It's what's in your mind. They say there's about 400 billion brain cells. Traceable, measurable brain cells in your brain. So it has nothing to do with your physical appearance. Even though being sexy and, and having nice hair, um, having nice breasts, and um, nice legs and behind, great things. You know, men love that kind of stuff when it comes to women. I know I do. You know, me, uh, per se, I'm, I'm a, a, a butt and thighs kind of guy. That's what turns me on about women. It's not her breasts or her weave or her hair. But to each his own. Now, I wrote the article because, you know, it was time to promote. You know, it's time to get out there on the scene. Let people know, hey, you know, you out here, you're doing your thing. Time for people to know this knowledge. They don't know that African women were revered in African Ancient high culture civilizations were revered as goddesses, you know what I mean, as empresses, as rulers of the world. And not that men were um, subservient or men were less than the woman, but we understood as kings, as warriors, as servants that our energy, our power, our strength comes from the woman. I have no shame of saying that today, you know, and so... It, as a matter of fact, I truly believe I was born, uh, that I was alive, you know, thousands of years ago. You know, I do believe in reincarnation. I, you know, it's, the reincarnation is all throughout the Bible. Um, you know, even when Jesus resurrected from um, the dead, he came, you know, in a new body. You know, that's, you know, one of the definitions of a resurrection. As a matter of fact, the first recorded resurrection comes from uh, Queen Aset. And um, Asar, which the Greeks called uh, you know, Queen Aset Isis, and um, As uh, Osiris, and their son Haru. N literal meaning that, you know, she woke him up from the dead. Or we can look at it, you know, look, look at this historical significance. This, the act itself is very powerful. That we can actually wake up our young men and women that's walking around here dead with their, you know, butts hanging out, boxers showing, drawers showing. 
you know, wake up their consciousness that obviously is dead. To wake them up from the dead to be alive again, to be the protectors, to be the, the nurturers of the world, of our communities. Because that's what's lacking today. But my whole theory behind writing Seven Types of Queens, King Desire, is so that we can uplift the woman back to the throne. Another thing Queen Arset did, and, and she wore, and it's all over the hieroglyphics, and, and, and uh, Kemet, which is today's Egypt, you know, they changed the name from Kemet to Egypt, it's another thing, but um, she, Arset wore a crown on her head, she literally wore, a, not a crown, but a throne on her head that symbolizes that in order for a man to become a king, he had to have been set on the throne by a woman. And, and I know male chauvinistics, they won't like it. People with male-dominated societies or, or, you know what I'm saying, chauvinistic pigs, they would not like it or accept that fact. But you don't have to, you know what I'm saying, deal with it. You know, it's, it's a fact. You know, I, I have debates all the time regarding this book. You know, it's highly anticipated. I can't wait till it comes out. It will come out um, December 12th, the pre-orders, but the actual publishing date for the public won't be until February 7th, my birthday. So... Um, but I wanted to, to, you know, people ask me all the time, why you always um, worship, not worshiping women, but that was taking place, you know, thousands of years ago, you know what I'm saying, 20, 30, possibly a million years ago. They can't even, you know, they, they can't even give you exact date of when the pyramids were built or the hieroglyphics, you know what I'm saying, started. They can't give it to you other than saying this is possibly 10, 20,000 years ago. But the black woman, you know, went from this high plateau you know what I'm saying, this high level in society, all the way down to being um, the stars of, well, today, of course, you know, um, you have social media, you have these television shows, you know, Scandal, Empire, the rest of the, you know, shows that are out there, which are very entertaining, don't, don't get me wrong, they get you emotionally attached, that's what they're, that's what they're doing, and dumbing us down at the same time, many of us, that do have the consciousness to fight against that, I'm aware of that, and just use it for fun. But the people who actually internalize that stuff, that's why media, no matter what form it is, is very powerful. Your eye gate, your ear gate, is picking that stuff up, and it goes into your spirit man or spirit woman. Now, our black women went from these high plateaus to being the exhibits in these human zoos. But it's happened in um, Antwerp, Paris. Um, it happened in um, even in New York, in the state, United States. You know what I'm saying? That was going on. It's going on throughout Europe, and and it happened in my blog. And I make sure I share with you guys: London, Barcelona, Antwerp, Hamburg, um, Warsaw. These all these countries. Oh, about two hundred to three hundred.